Do you want to show your besties what they really mean to you? This DIY project is inspired by the best women of all time. I'm looking at RBG right there. That's right, Ruth Bader Ginsburg for my Galentines. Hi, I'm Ash, and I'm the Y-inspired blogger behind the DIY blog, Aloe Plum. It's almost Valentine's Day, and of course, I love my husband and my family. But my gals, that's where it's at. So today I'm showing you a fun and easy Galentine gift to show your besties how much they really mean to you. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel, and while you're at it, click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new videos. Here is the list of supplies you will need today. And don't forget, this list of supplies and more information about this tutorial is available on my website, Aloe Plum. I am using a standard size coffee mug since I plan to give this as a Valentine's gift, and I will give you all of my measurements before we're done. But I'm going to show you how I got my measurements first, just in case you want to make this for a very specific mug. So to figure out the size for my pattern, I simply measured around my mug from the outer edge of the handle to the other outer edge of the handle, making sure to not measure over the handle. For mine, that is 10 inches. My piece of felt is 9 by 12, so I can just cut 2 inches off of the short side of my felt, and I'll use that for the closure later, and then I've double checked to see how tall my coffee mug is, and I think I can get away with a 3 inch tall cozy, which is perfect because this is a 9 inch piece of felt, so I will get 3 cozies out of 1 piece. Each descent collar cozy ends up being 10 by 3 inches, and you can see how perfectly it fits around a standard coffee mug. So I'm working on turning my black piece of felt into Ruth Bader Ginsburg's descent collar. Here's a really easy way to do this. To make a guide for my descent collar sequins, I'm going to cut a piece of tracing paper out that is the same size as my felt. I'm just going to fold my tracing paper in half and in half again, and in half again, and in half one more time. And this is going to be how I create even spacing with my sequins for the descent collar. Okay, so when I open this up, I'm going to be able to use these marks here as my guide when I'm sewing the sequins on. And so you can see I'm just sewing this tracing paper right on. And I'm doing it a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, and with varying sizes of sequins, which is what you'll see if you look at Ruth Bader Ginsburg's descent collar. I have a little bit more variation in sequins than I planned on this one because I had this bag of bigger sequins that my one-year-old was carrying around and has either hidden or lost. So I had to get another bag and they weren't exactly the same size, but I think it's gonna work fine. So I'll just show you how I'm doing this. And I'm kind of going up a little bit like a neckline, but it's going to wrap around like this. So I'm just going to put my last row on this side here. And I'm using a gold thread to match so that you can't really see it. Okay. I have all my sequins sewn onto my black felt. Should we take off the tracing paper? What I'm gonna do is just kind of tear it away right at the sequin. It just comes right out. As long as your sequins were sewn on tight enough, you won't have any problem getting the tracing paper out. Should we see how it's looking so far? I think so. So I have my mug here, and yes, I do like to be the life of the party. Oh, look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? So if you look at the back where the handle is, you can see that it comes up to the handle on both sides there. I'm gonna use part of the scrap that I cut off. I'm just gonna cut this piece shorter. I'm gonna sew it down to one side. And then on this side, I'm going to cut a slit for a button. And since I love RBG and it's Valentine's Day, I got these adorable heart buttons. They're gonna be perfect. A little heart on RBG. And here she is, my Ruth Bader Ginsburg Descent Collar Coffee Cozy. Isn't she beautiful? This super cute RBG Descent Collar Coffee Cozy is really gonna make my girlfriends know how much they mean to me. 
I'll probably have to fill it with wine though. If you liked what I showed you today, make sure you like this video. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, or ideas for my next project, drop me a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel too. I've got new tutorials coming to you every week, including a great Valentine inspired by Frida Kahlo. And head over to my website to subscribe to my email list for exclusive tips and free patterns. I'm courting RBG for Valentine's Day this year. I love her. Nothing but Ruth Bader Ginsburg for my Valentine.